Hello, everyone. Welcome to Worcester Street. I hope you enjoy your stay. I apologize for not having uploaded some of the other nights of Halloween. You'll still be getting them all. It just might be a little bit delayed. I unfortunately have been doing a lot of traveling, and I ran a marathon recently, so you'll have to bear with me. With that being said, let's get started with night four of 31 Nights of Halloween. Around a week ago, I came across a forum talking about a hot springs up in the mountains by a river. According to the posters, it was extremely picturesque, so I decided to check it out for myself. I wanted to see some stars, so I planned my trip to arrive as the sun was setting. The drive took far longer than I was expecting. I figured the springs would be pretty far out there, but after an hour of driving, the road lost any markings and I had to rely on my GPS. The trailhead was so hard to see that I missed it my first time driving by. I set up the trail, recording a short video as I walked, which you can see here. It took me another half hour of walking. The sun soon set, and I was forced to rely on a flashlight not to trip over the many large rocks in the path. After a few close calls, I finally made it to the pools. They were amazing. The river fell sharply along the valley floor, and someone had constructed several pools of steaming water along the sides that followed the course of the river. A strong smell of sulfur permeated the air. I figured from the volcanic activity that heated the springs. I didn't take these two pictures, but they're similar to what I'm talking about. That's when I noticed two points of light staring at me from the nearest lowest pool. It was a man with long black hair soaking in the water. I pulled my flashlight away from him, trying not to blind him. How's it going? I asked. Mind if I hop into one of those higher pools? The man's face was shrouded in shadow, but I could have sworn I could still see two faint points of light where his eyes were. He didn't respond. I cleared my throat, said, okay, and headed up the river to the highest pool. The warm water was the perfect complement to the early fall air. I sat back, taking in the hundreds of stars up in the sky. After a few minutes of this, I sat up and looked back down the pools toward the man. He was gone. I shook my head, figuring he was probably just upset at having his solitude ruined. That's when a fierce wind cut through the trees surrounding the river. The trees whipped and waved, their silhouettes moving like creatures in the night. The air brought in by the wind was bitter cold. I coughed and was shocked to see my own breath. Goosebumps were raised on my exposed shoulders and neck. It must have dropped some 20 degrees over the course of 30 seconds. I plunged my whole head under the water, the warmth easing the cold skin on my face. I pulled my head back out, rubbed the water from my eyes, and looked around. My pool was full of a dozen dark figures, each staring at me. Their eyes emitted a sharp yellow light, but they made no moves other than to stare. Looking further down the river, I saw that each pool was similarly full of dozens of black silhouettes, each one with yellow eyes, each one staring up at me. I scrambled backwards, hands slipping along the stone. I turned, lost my footing, and hit my arm hard as I fell on the rocks. I pushed backward with my feet, shooting a terrified look back over my shoulder at the pool. It was empty. All of them were. I gathered up my things as fast as I could, wincing in pain at my scraped and bruised arm. I recorded some of the walk and drive back, which you've been seeing. I don't know why. I think I was just afraid of seeing one of those things again. I hope you all enjoyed this story. As always, if you want a free copy of my ebook available now on Amazon, you can go to my website, linked in the pinned comment. There should be a pop-up where you can enter your email to receive a PDF of my ebook. Thank you for watching. A special shout out to my Patreon backers who helped make this channel possible. I hope you've enjoyed your time on Worcester Street's 31 Nights of Halloween.